What is numerical differentiation? Well, it's a way of estimating the derivative of a function at a certain point, given the function itself. Why this is useful is because we don't have to actually find the analytic derivative of a function to be able to get the derivative at a certain point. So how can we do this? Well, normally the normal analytical differentiation is with this limit right here. F prime of X equals the limit as H approaches zero of F of X plus H minus F of X over H. You've all seen this definition before. The idea of numerical differentiation is that instead of sending this H to zero, we're going to send it to a really small number. For instance, 10 to the negative eighth. And that way it's just an algebra problem to find the estimate of the derivative at the point eight X. So let's see this in practice. We can first import math here, and then let's write our derivative function. I'm gonna call it df of f at x. Then we have to set our h. h can be equal to 10 to the negative eight. And our return will be returning the f of x plus h, f of x over h. And that's it. Three lines right there, and we've written our numerical differentiation. Let's test it. So define uh, example, I guess, x, and we can return math dot sine of x, and then let's define the actual answer, which we know the derivative of sine is cosine, so return cosine of x. So let's print the derivative, so df of the example at, let's say, point 2. Let's also print the actual answer at 2. And let's print the difference between them. So df example 2 minus actual 2. So this isn't just cosine, it's math.cosine. Now let's run this. And we realize that we're really, really close with our numerical differentiation to the actual answer. The one thing I do want to point out is this h value here, 10 to the negative 8th, was chosen strategically. If we choose it too high, then it's obviously not going to be nearly as good of an estimate. But weirdly enough, if you choose it too low, it still won't be nearly as good of an estimate. And that has to do with how the computer does the math behind the scenes. You don't have to really worry about it. If you just use 10 to the negative 8th, that tends to be a good value for H in most situations.